Train, make a muscle. Baby style. Dance, buddy, dance. You really are the same. Dance. Plus, our biggest surprise yet. And Marissa Jarrett went over how she lost 60 pounds. It goes slow. They will add up. Then, it's amazing weight loss stories. Wow. This is fantastic. That is a massive weight loss. Wow, look at that. I'm recently married. Ah. I work with my wife on this show, and I'm learning how to be a dad to two amazing kids in a blended family. <laughs> I'm hosting a talk show because there's a lot to talk about. This is the adventure. Welcome. Thank you. Have a seat. Thanks for the nice welcome. Well, if you've ever wanted, tried, or even thought about losing weight, has anybody here not thought about losing weight at some point? Everyone thinks about it. You're in good company. The weight loss industry, check this out, expected to pull in over two and a half billion dollars this year alone. Today we're going to meet a group of people who between them have lost almost 900 pounds. Pretty amazing. Their impressive transformation plus how they did it. We're going to do all that today. But first, for eight years, millions of people have been tuning in to NBC. It's a very big show called The Biggest Loser. Ali Sweeney, the host, was just here the other day. That's where contestants put it on the line to lose as much weight as they can. Jillian Michaels style. Roll it! TV's toughest trainer is back. What is it? She's back! What's wrong with you three? And what was wrong with you five? What is it? After sitting out one season to care for her kids, Jillian Michaels is back on NBC's The Biggest Loser. I'm going to tell you right now, you're in big trouble. you got three team members that can't do basic things. So, did she mellow out in her time away? Not a chance. You want to walk out of here? Take, what, what part of get out of the gym? Take her out of the gym, interview her there. She's a fitness expert, life coach, New York Times best-selling author, and mother of two. Jillian's latest project, a cutting-edge new training program called wow. Killer Abs. You want a body like this? You want to feel energized? You want to feel confident? You want to be around for your family? You can do this for 30 minutes. Jillian Michaels is here! Come on! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there's already not enough time because I've watched Jillian for a long time and I have to say, I have to share, a lot of times you don't meet a guest beforehand because you kind of just want to meet him out here. I wanted to meet her and she's nothing like she is on Biggest Loser. You're kind, charming, no. big smiles, no. pleasant. Oh no! The cat is out of the bag. No, no, I'm really good at faking it. I think it really well, but uh, so I, are you no. a bitch or are you nice? Hey, 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 hey. I'm abs. I definitely have those I days. I love man. that. I can be a bitch, and the older I get, I get bitchier. I think it's the lack of sleep, though. I mean, just the other day, I was like, my God, I'm more of a bitch than ever. Like watching that promo on Loser, I was like, Wow, I'm a bitch. But it's great. It's <laughs> it's unbelievable. I mean, where else do you find... I have a little of that on Survival, where you can go, pick it up! What is your problem? Get it. And you're, you're not doing anything. You're just sitting... I'm just sitting there lipping off. I love that part of you. <laughs> Thank you. Did, yeah. did you have... Why was... Were you always fit, or did you ever have a weight no. problem? No. You know, I was, uh, I was an overweight kid for many years, until I was about... Damn. I got into... Oh, God. Wow. The, I cannot... <laughs> God help me the day that I dug up that photo years yeah, ago. Regretful. And it makes the rounds. I would give anything to take it out of circulation. Really? Oh, but 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 for for you, I know. Yeah. But but when we compare it, I mean, you're a gorgeous woman. Thank you. And to look at that, <laughs> thank you. For somebody who's home, going, I, you've heard this story before, but it does inspire people to say, if Jillian can do it, maybe I can do it. Oh, well, it's good thank to share. You. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So what was what turned for you? Uh, my mom, um, my parents were going through a divorce, and uh, yeah, I was going through a tough time, obviously, and I was a young teenager. And she realized that I needed some sort of outlet, a place to make my own, and 
a place to get out my anger because I was, you know, teens were angry and with everything that was going on in the house, I was going through a hard time. And she got me into martial arts and it became so much more than a workout. That's when it became uh, about feeling empowered, feeling confident, having a sense of accomplishment. And it did, granted, it did not ha happen overnight. It took until I was about 15 to really put the pieces together. Because a lot of it is up here, right? Almost all of it. Almost all of it. We could talk about eating right and working out, and in five minutes I could tell you how to lose weight. So then you got to ask, well, how come two-thirds of our country are obese? Mm -hmm. It really is about that mental shift. And I recognize at that young age that fitness was a means to transcend strength into other areas of your life. What does that mean? It really means that when you feel strong physically, right, you're going to feel empowered. So at work, you're going to be more confident. You're going to take, mm -hmm. granted, an educated and informed risk, but you'll be okay to face down your fears, to take chances in your relationship. You'll feel more confident, and so you'll be more vulnerable and expose mm -hmm. yourself because you know you're strong enough to survive setbacks and failures. Life is full of them. But when you feel stronger, you know, all right, this setback is an opportunity for learning, not validation that I'm no good. Has your great, great speech. I like thank that. Thank you, thank you. I've rehearsed it. I've said it quite a few times. <laughs> Did your philosophy change or enhance when you became a mother? Such a good question. In the beginning, I had really wanted to approach it and be... <laughs> softer. <laughs> and then, as you see, that's not actually the first time I've seen that footage, as you see that it, it didn't really turn out that way. And I, I realized that because I, I brought some of my personal stuff to the table, which I usually don't do, and I felt like if I'm here away from my family and I had kind of that, that guilt of not being with my kids, it was the first time I, I've worked in a year. Mm. And that, it's kind of hard as a woman. You feel super guilty about it. I don't know if guys feel that way, but... So I felt like, if I'm here and I'm away from my kids, you better you, you better step up right now! And I, you know, and, and my... I, to my, a three-month-old. You know, well, no, to, the, to the contestants, oh. I felt like, you know... If oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, I, I got lost. Yes, that I, makes sense. I told the baby, you better be potty trained tomorrow or get out. So you're saying now when you have to leave the room, oh, I get a little, then yeah. you guys better step it up because I got other things to do. I, yeah, yeah, I kind of felt like, look, if I'm going to take time away from my family, then you better meet me at least halfway. And so I was, it was bad. Like the first month, it was it's bad. It's bad. Really? It's worse than ever. But then I but go... What's <laughs> great about that is, is that you're pulling out the kid card. Yeah, I mean, I who did can complain that. against that? I did do. I did pull that out. I made them feel guilty. I was like, I've got it. It was like a Sunday, and I was like, I have a two-and-a-half-year-old that's asking where Mommy is right now. Get on this treadmill. <laughs> so, like, they did Oh, thank you. Oh. So, with that said... I did find, though, that later on in the show, there was a moment, and it's something that I've been struggling with as a mom, you cannot control everything. And that's my favorite thing to do. Mm. I really like mm. to control everything so that nothing is unpredictable in my world. And with kids, that's impossible. Does that mean you're hard to work for? Kind of? Yeah. No. I no. think I'm a pleasure. Where's my, where's right. my assistance backstage like this? When we come back, Jillian was nice enough to bring some home video of her daughter, <laughs> Lukenza, to show us. We'll do that right when we come back. <laughs> How'd you meet Heidi? Oh, gosh. Oh, Where'd that's... you meet your woman? Oh, I'm getting so much trouble for this. With fitness expert Jillian Michaels, Jillian recently became a new mom when she and her partner Heidi, oh, look at that, adopted their two-year-old daughter Lou from Haiti. Their son Phoenix was born last year. Jillian brought some home video of her daughter Lou to show us the world. Make a muscle. Yeah. Lou, eat your foot. Go get that, get that foot. Whoa! Dance, buddy, dance. Dance. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah. Oh. Hey, you really are the same. You're right. Dance. 
You said during the tape, you said flexibility training. Oh my gosh. Never too it's young. It's my favorite thing in the world. Like, having a toddler in the house is the most fun I think I've ever had in my life. Granted, there are moments where I'm like, I could kill you. And then you have, you have to leave. I'm like, take the toddler now. I'm losing my mind. But for the most, it's you know, kind I'm, of amazing. I married my wife, Lisa, and she had two kids, young. And, and I'm so excited. I talk about it all the time to be a dad. But I didn't go through the born phase. Like yeah. The, and every friend I have has said at one point or another, oh, folks, I seriously considered <laughs> opening the window, taking my child that I gave, that I helped breed, and throw out the window. There are moments when you, when you haven't slept, and like my son the other day, it was just the third night in a row, I hadn't slept, I had to be at work at six in the morning, it's three in the morning, he's oh, crying yeah. for an hour, you can't calm him, which is, by the way, the worst feeling, nothing makes you feel worse when you can't soothe your kid. And I looked at him and I was like, a smile is not going to buy you out of this tomorrow. I may kill you tomorrow. Because yeah. he just looks, you know, they have this moment where they look at you and you're like, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. I'm so tired. And they go, and you're like, all right, okay, I love you again. But yeah, it, it's hard work. It really is. No one really prepares you for those feelings of complete insanity when you're just so sleep deprived and so tired. And then, and then you're thinking, how could I love this little person yeah. as much yeah. as I do? And then the next minute think, oh my god, I'm going to tear my hair out. It, it's, it's completely unique, but the, the things that come out of a toddler's mouth are heaven. And you never know where they get it from. It's like my daughter, was, she's potty training, and she's sitting on the potty, and she's a sitter. I don't know if you know, like, some sure. people get in there, they do their thing, other people stay in there. And like, my daughter's a sitter. So I'm like, bud, you done? No, 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 no. <laughs> and, you know, I'm very impatient. I'm like, honey, five minutes later. Y'all done? All good? Mama? No. Okay. So all of a sudden, she'll let out a little tooth, and she goes, whoa, pardon. And I, it was worth 10 minutes in the bathroom. I cried. I cried. I called everyone I know, told them the story. I was like, this is so worth it. Just having this moment is heaven in my day. But, Jillian, no, but here's the other thing. No one cares on those stories. This is what I'm learning. You're, you're now that person that says, oh, and then I just have to tell you, Lou did that. I do it all the time, and I see people going, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Here he goes again, but he's the so host, bad. so we're going to all go, shoot. Shut up. Is it that bad? Yes. Okay. It's okay. not you. It's everybody. <laughs> How'd you meet Heidi? Oh, gosh. Oh, Where'd that, you meet your woman? Gosh, that's kind of a, we met through mutual friends. And at a bar. At, no, 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 no. Okay. Um, at, a, at a Batman screening of all things, and we were just friends in the beginning. But did any? But did they say, "Listen, I got a friend coming"? No, we were both. We were both in relationships. Yeah, it's the gray area. Yeah, yeah. we were both in relationships. But you know, so at first I was like, "Cause I used to go private, very quiet." And at first I was like, "Gosh, who is this girl? She's kind of a, a bitch." God, I'm going to get in so much trouble with it. But she was just kind of quiet and withdrawn, and so we didn't really like each other at first. And then over time, because we had the same group of friends, she, uh, she managed musicians, and I love music, and so we got in conversations about music, and that's where we found mm. kind of a common ground and ended up becoming really close friends, and then she you know, was a yoga instructor on the side, and... And then wow, kind now of that's getting interesting. Sort of like... <laughs> anytime there's a yoga instructor on the side, <laughs> no, no, no. story got better. She, she, she taught yoga as oh, a... As a, as a <laughs> she was a yoga instructor. <laughs> she, was, okay. she taught yoga on the side, so we had that in common. And um, and then after, How I would say about a year. Oh, about a year. A year, okay. a year, and then all of a sudden, I kind of woke up one morning and, I was, and realized, I was like, I think I, I really genuinely care about this person. It was a very odd evolution and then once you know you really know yeah and that was it yeah you do you just yeah you're like oh wait a minute this is what my friend said you'll yeah. know when you know you know when you know do you guys are you a celebrity couple in the sense that do you get oh you do you no, get do we the get, paparazzi oh they this is such a shame um they really only want the kids they go after the kids like crazy and i i wasn't sure how to handle it because at first it used to really upset our daughter and uh, she would, you know, you see like some photos in the beginning where she's like kind of freaked out by it. And, and now, and we, we wanted her to think it wasn't. Now she's posing. Now she goes like this. Jeez! And we're just like, okay, honey. And, it, you know, I, it, I mean, 
So I think it's at least better for her that it feels like an affable interaction instead of something where she feels invaded upon. Mm -hmm. We're not quite sure how we should handle it, but yeah, they don't care at all about us. Crazy. The kids, they want oh, the kids. There's there she is, waving at the... We're applauding it, but we don't really yeah. know. She's like, what's up? How you doing? Hello. Man. Yeah, I mean, but in this photo in particular, this is actually in like sort of the very beginning. and. Heidi had just had Phoenix, and her pants were unbuttoned, and I'm buttoning her pants. So, yeah. And my daughter's like, hello, hi. You guys look like you're in a parking lot of, like, Costco or something, yeah, getting ready yeah, to go really shopping. <laughs> yeah, it's tough. Pride falling apart. But so, you know, what are you going to do? Nothing. Yeah. Just make sure your daughter always looks good. <laughs> you know, you want her to look good. All right. Up next, the surprising twist on the newest edition of The Biggest Loser, which does have a lot of people talking. Plus, how does she stay looking so good? We'll find the answer to that when we come back. Right back. We really can't resist a good reunion, so come on out. I can't breathe. You want to breathe? Then you'll do what I tell you, and one day you'll be able to. Ladies and gentlemen, Jillian and Mike. Ah, oh, a little highlight from uh, NBC's hit reality show. <laughs> Jillian Michaels, just own it. It's who you are. So tell me about this season, because you're treading into a whole new world with kids. I mean, kids. Yes, yes. yes. And that's sensitive. Wow. So our producers, uh, we have a, a new group of producers. They're awesome. And they felt like the show had gotten to a place where we needed to do something more proactive. And they wanted to take on childhood obesity and have kids, three kids, one on each team, not on the ranch. They come and go when we go see them. And uh, at first, it's something I work for NFL Play 60. I work with the Alliance for a Healthier Generation. But to have kids on TV, at first I was like, you know, this is, mm -hmm. this is a minefield. If anything goes wrong, we're going to get destroyed. Like, Did you take the same approach? Uh, well, n with the kid, no. So, so we all sat down, and we sat down with like, leading pediatricians, leading child psychologists, and how are we going to do it in the most responsible, safe way to protect the kids? Mm. And so they don't get on the scale. We don't discuss their weight. It isn't about calories. It's about getting on a softball team or getting on the cheerleading team, making them feel better about I it. I love it. It's really like another branch off of Biggest Loser yeah. that doesn't change the core of your show, but it, it just, it's because it's a pro, it's a major problem in this country. It is, yeah. And one Obesity. in three of our kids are obese. You know, the, you know the scary statistics. That children have a lesser life expectancy than their parents. Crazy. And it, it, yeah, it's crazy. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of sad. Do you stay in touch with any of the contestants? You know, there are some that are like family, and you would, you know, jump in front of a speeding bus for them. And then there are some that you don't really bond with. It's just like everyday life. You know, you're like, oh, this person I love, this person, uh, not so much. So some of them, you, you know, are like... I remember a bond you had with uh, sisters. I don't remember their names. Hannah and Olivia, the, the most lovely, incredible girls. Uh, I would say... Some, uh, we've had some amazing presents, but they, are, they were special. Why? What was it about them? They were passionate. They were determined. They were disciplined. Oh. They were just good people. And there was a moment in that season, because Bob and I were having kind of a hard time. It was a hard season for us. And, uh, and like, these girls just, they were friends to us. We thought mm. of them as family. And, uh, Which is rare on these shows, to really connect. Of course it is. Because, you know, you're thinking like, all right, well, I need to protect myself. I need to be insulated. And um, there was just a moment I remember I looked at the girls and I was like, we're, we consider you family. Like, you're in our lives forever, no matter what. Even if you don't talk every day mm. or if you ever need anything, I'll be there. They were they're unique. I love them. Well, we really can't resist a good reunion. So Olivia and Hannah are here. Come on out! <laughs> Like little bookends. You got it. I, I love these. Look how gorgeous they are. How did you come to town and not even tell me? 
Well, we were trying to hide it for you a couple days. Suck. I can't yeah. believe what is it. it. Guys, what is it about, in a nutshell, what is it about Jillian that works? Because when you look at her, you go, oh, she's so mean and she's just, but it works. I think the biggest thing about Jillian is I remember from the first workout, I mean, I was terrified. Hannah gave me this, like, Four. advice, don't look her in the eye. Do. do not look her in the eye. So she's scary. She, she's very scary. But I think the, the thing about her is within the first 30 seconds, she looked at me and she said, this is me and don't you, and you just have to trust me. And there was wow. something about the genuineness in that that I'd never had anybody say, I've got So you. there's an investment that yes. she makes and you feel it. Yes. And Jillian has this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She has this. This. I don't know if it's, it's just stuff. your path in life, but she can literally look into like your soul somehow. Like she read my library card the second I walked in the door. Mm -hmm. And at first, I didn't like it too much. And then <laughs> and I really kind of let my guard down, and she was the one person that helped me empower myself. I really myself. think you just hit on something that I never really thought about, which is there are lots of trainers. Yes. There are a lot of people that can, like you said, tell you how to lose weight and show you how to do an exercise, but it's another to be able to read the library card and say, this is what it takes to fix you, to help you. This is what you like. You need pep talk. You need a beat down. Right. All right. We have some highlights from when you guys were on. Take a look at this. First and second place. Roll it. I'm the biggest loser. I'm the biggest loser. I'm the biggest loser. Shut up. I love cheesecakes so much. I eat it way too often. I've eaten it out of the garbage before. I'm embarrassed to even say that. I should have said that. We have just lost in 12 weeks 320 pounds. You know, that's two Backstreet Boys, you know what I mean? I can basically just hear Jillian now. Are you idiots? And she has her hands like this, and she just starts screaming. Do you want to go home? Do you want to go home? Yes! Yes! How does it feel not to be an underdog, Olivia? It feels great. It feels great. And what kind of dogs are we again? We're the top dog. Top dog. I know. That is incredible. You guys look fantastic, and you're so funny. No wonder you bonded. So I've been teasing that we're going to find out how you stay in shape yourself, Jillian. So what, by the way, I, how everybody in here is getting this today, by the way, Jillian. Killer abs. Uh, but, and I just downloaded one of yours, Shred, well, I, Ripped in 30? Ripped in 30. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, online, downloaded to my computer. You can't wait to do that. But what is, bo what is this body shred thing that you're doing? Well, body shred is a class that I've created. Uh, and so what I can do is certify and train other trainers in the principles, the philosophies, the techniques that I use. And you'll see some of them in Ripped in 30 or the 38 shred. And I wanted to really bring that to life co-op the talent and the personalities of other trainers and then put it in gyms across the country. That's a big tall order for you. It really is. It's kind of an enormous undertaking. We've been testing it at Crunch in uh, Miami, San Francisco, New York, LA. So just 20 gyms to kind of work out the kinks and then next year we're going to be in gyms across Canada, the UK, the United States. and But I just love, there's so much talent out there with other fitness experts. And so I wanted to have their personalities and their unique approach in conjunction with the philosophy that I've always it's followed. Just the tree. The tree is exactly. spreading. The Jillian Michaels tree. Yeah. All right, Jillian's newest workout video is called Killer Abs, and it will help take your body to the next level with three quick, fun workouts that deliver visible results fast. And you can buy a copy wherever you see it. You're <laughs> awesome. I'm so glad you're here. Olivia and Hannah, thank you guys for being here. Coming up, she's made incredible performances part of her life but it's a dramatic 60 pound weight loss that has become the talk of the town marissa jarrett winoker is here we'll be right back <laughs>